everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft, and I can't see you, but you can see me. The Oculus Rift is on, and yes, I know if you asked for it, and luckily, it has happened on a little forum, I say little forum, it's quite a big forum, uh, the made to be seen 3D forum, somebody on there called Stella Artois, has created what he likes to dub as Minecraft, so it's Minecraft, with the Oculus Rift on, it works amazingly well. The head tracking is brilliant. It's a little bit oversensitive currently. Uh, like if I look forwards and I look right the way to the left of my shoulder, um, it goes a little bit further. It goes pretty much 180 all the way around. But I'm sure in the future there'll be a setting or like a little file, a config file, where we can change the sensitivity to something that's a bit more comfortable for us. A uh, couple of things to show you on this mod before I actually get into some gameplay is you'll notice the hot bar is sort of like active over the top of the game. You can hide it with F1. Like like you normally do and I can also lock it as well so if I do control and U I can actually hold this in place and whenever I move my head that will remain there. Something else to note about this as well the TF2 one you always have to move your mouse in order to move the cursor whereas this one actually works in the opposite way where you can move your mouse and the head movements will also allow you to move the mouse as well which is pretty cool. If I want to stop the head movement at any time this is what was current uh, up until last night or this morning this head tracking wasn't active other than a straight left and right on one axis. Um, you can do control L and that will lock it so no matter how much I move my head around it's not going to do anything unless I move the mouse. Right, I'm going to get some logs. Now the only problem we've been having with this so far is the fact that uh, crafting and stuff is a little bit difficult. So if I open up the inventory, that to me, when I look at it on the normal screen, should work. But on my headset, I don't know if it's a matter of me having to change some settings to overlay a couple of extra bits. But the gameplay looks fine, but the menus are very, very difficult for me to get a hold of. Now luckily I've played a lot of Minecraft, so I'm able to dabble around in this if I need to. Uh, but if I make a crafting bench, I'm really having to like focus hard on where I'm putting stuff and I'm sort of playing a guessing game as well as to where things are actually located. I'm going to pop down this crafting bench, so if I just cra uh, scroll through these, I can actually read the text that picks up uh, when I actually uh, move between the items on my hotbar. So if I just make myself something like a sword to protect myself or maybe a pickaxe, oh my god, where am I looking? Uh, oh, drop down into that gap there, there we go. So now I'm actually inside of this and I've seen Vacon do a video on this as well uh, and I think me and him are the only Minecraft related channels who actually have a hold of an Oculus Rift at the moment so I'm going to be doing as many updates on this as I can. I shouldn't move my head otherwise I'm going to break the wrong thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm basically going to just do some videos on this. If you want to see me do like a series on it, then I would be more than happy to do so. Now obviously this isn't the same experience for me as it is for you but just very quickly here, if you pull your monitor somewhat close to you and what I want you to do is I want you to go cross-eyed until the two images meet in the middle. That is essentially how the Oculus Rift works. I have the same image on the left and the right, maybe slightly staggered, and then they meet in the middle to create what is sort of, I think it's called Stereoscope 3D, and that is basically how it works. So if any point in this video you want to give it a try, uh, that's what you can do. Oh, Nelly. Okay, I'm going to jump off of here for you all, <laughs> just so you can see it. But this environment is massive. I'm inside of a jungle, which couldn't be a better place to spawn. Is that a chicken? I think that's a chicken. I should show you actually how the sensitivity is pretty huge. So you'll notice that even the slightest head movements here are uh, making this happen. I think that leaf just broke underneath me. And also here as well, it all starts to get a little bit trippy. <laughs> it's very, very strange. Right, let's do this bad boy. Let's go into the water. We're going to jump off of there. Let's get a running sprint. And Geronimo! <laughs> Whoa! And now I'm underwater. I can see the water above me, the sun is shining over this beautiful place. And there it is. Right, I reckon I'm going to put this to the test because one thing I want to show you before I end this video is the fact that when you log into a server and you see other people, that's when it first starts to become like kind of spooky and very real because everybody's the same height as you. It's really weird. We've got Trouble in Mineville there, the survival games, we've got the Herobrine, there's somebody over there, and also the arcade as well. That guy's got no head. You'll notice that a lot of people in this game won't have any heads, so don't worry about it too much. It's something that's going to be fixed in the future. Uh, if I can just leg it, oh, actually, if I use this little launch pad, oh god, this is going to make me feel sick. Okay, and go! <laughs> there we go. Awesome. And if you look around here, you'll start to see that everybody is the same height as you, which is one of the most surreal things ever. This is when, like, you start to realise that, oh my god, this is this is a thing. It's really, really, really cool. Uh, that guy's got a mask on. It seems like the normal head layer is actually missing, but anything that's on the hover head layer 
isn't. Let me find a game that I can join into. I'm going to see how I fare. <laughs> I'm going to see how I fare inside of survival games whilst I have this on. Now, if this lobby doesn't end too quickly, I want to run over to the uh, to the parkour puzzle <laughs> and see if I can do it. But this place is huge. Look at it. So let's have a look towards the middle. Oh, God. So there's everybody here. There's people who are going to want to kill me straight away. If I change my nickname to something like... Uh, uh, Rifter. There you go. I don't know if that worked. Nick Rifter. There we go. I don't know if that worked. If it didn't, it didn't. If it did, then we're good. But here I am on the starting point. Let's see how we fare in the survival games. Oh god, when's it going to end? The ladder's there. I'm going to go to there first. Okay, you ready? Oh god, when's it going to start? I'm looking over my shoulder to see what's there. Got no items in my hotbar currently. That's fine. Oh. God, when's it going to start? I can't even read what the text says. The text for the chat window also is difficult for me to read. Oh, I see the countdown in the middle of the screen. All right, 12, 10, oh, God, 9. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get killed so quick in this. There's a crane all the way up there. 3, 2, 1. All right, leg it up there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, everyone's getting hit. I think it's because someone's trying to hit me. Why are you doing this to me? Don't. Oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. Who's that? That's it, bugger off you. I don't know who it was who was attacking me. Alright, I'm just going to have to climb up this way. There we are. I'm just going to use my head for movements. Now, I could be really harsh on myself and say, right, the only way I can move is by turning my head. If it was a wireless headset, then fair enough. But because it's wide, I'm not going to... I'm going to be too strict to myself. I could be like, okay, I can only move by looking around, and then I have to use the plus... Uh, I have to use two keys on the keyboard for the left mouse and right mouse, but... I'm not going to do that to myself today. No, sir. <laughs> right, okay, hold on. Over that fence. Over that one. Depth of field is great on this. One thing that I w worried about when it first came to the Oculus Rift is does everything look too close or does everything look too far away? But it actually looks like, you know, where it is, which is really cool. No one down there. No one down there. Okay, cool. I'm not going to go into there. That's fine. There's got to be a chest somewhere in this house or like a, a crate that's dropped. No, it's not that one there. Hello, any crates? Oh, is that a crate? That's a crate. Oh my god, yes. Now, the only problem is, is I can't really see where I'm placing these things. Stone axe. Oh god, this is difficult when I can't really tell. Is there anything else in that chest? Let me check. No, that's everything. Okay, I've got it all. Good. Um, <laughs> oh, is there another one? Oh no, there's only the one on this balcony. Okay, cool. Right, where's my stone axe? That's what I'm looking for right now. Stone axe. Is that it? Stone axe, bow, and the wooden axe is there. Okay, cool. I got this. Oh god, yeah, look. That's it in my hand. That is a stone axe in my hand. Works great with texture packs as well. There we are. Right, if anyone wants to mess with me, bro, I'm going to chop them up. Because I am a badass lumberjack, bro. Oh, what's up here? Uh, there we go. Anything up here? Oh, another crate. Oh, yeah. Got myself some food. And I think that's a bone there as well. Actually, if I just put that there, if I shift click on it, there we go. I think I picked up that meat, did I? No. Oh, there's boots there as well. The boots are out of my view range there. So if I just punk those there, because I can see that quite comfortably. I'll put the bones there as well. There we are. Right, if I click on that. There we go. Oh, man. We're doing well. This is better than I do in the normal survival games. <laughs> Even when I'm, like, using normal vision. Oh, sword. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Sword is in the inventory. I've got some sticks there, I think. I don't know whereabouts they are. There they are. Anything else in there? Oh, we got some chain boots. Hello. Upgrade. Okay. I'm going to put this in the middle. Okay, what have we got? Uh, chain boots. Got you. Oh, no. I need to take those other boots off first. Take those ones off. And the chain boots come on. Oh, God, no. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I'm going to have to lift up. So, this is obviously an alpha at the minute, so don't be too harsh on it. Uh, this is phenomenal for what's been done in just a mere few days. Um, or what I'm assuming is just a few days. Hello? Who's down there? Could I come get you? No! No, 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 no. Oh god, I'm just gonna run. There you go. Come here then. Come here then. What you got? What you got, bro? What you got? What you got? Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. I'm in dead. Oh no, I'm dead. As if that happened. I can't believe that. I was doing so well. But anyway. Oh wait, am I dead? Where am I dead? I think I'm dead. Oh no, I think I'm dead. Anyway. No, I'm not. What the oh, now I am. Okay, cool. There we go. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see me attempting more um, Oculus Rift survival game stuff, then let me know in the comment section below. If you've got any roller coaster maps that you can think of, send them to me. I'll give them a try. I'll keep you up to date with what's happening with Minecraft and when they add more and more things to it. And I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye!